Sekoi, False Love. Recently, I reviewed this series and I thought mostly positive things about it. So I thought today, we should go on and rank some of my favorite girls from this series. Before we get into the rankings, be aware that this is my opinion and if you disagree, you're simply wrong. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Also spoilers for the manga. Anyway, let's get right into it. Now starting in last place is the winner, Kirisaki Chitoge. Now, before we go, I don't hate Chitoge. Honestly, I think she's a pretty good character. However, I don't believe she's that interesting and I felt that other characters in the series were far more fun to read. I was thinking that her winning was the outcome I wanted the least for the series and I feel like Chitoke herself can be somewhat irritating at times. But even still, I think she's a good character, just not the character for me. And next up is Yui Kanakura. Now I really enjoy Yui a good bit. I feel like her relationship with Raku is extremely well done and I really enjoy how funny she can be with the main cast and how she grows as a character. I also love that she became Raku's homeroom teacher and how she was practically being forced to sleep with him at times and it was really cute. However, I don't enjoy the fact that she is a part of the Chinese Mafia. I think that that idea has already gone stale thanks to Chitoge and Raku being part of criminal families, although it isn't bad by any means. I also believe that she wasn't the most interesting character in the series, but even with these negatives, I think Yui is a very fun character and she had very good moments and is overall enjoyable. Moving on with our list, I think I can put Ruri on the next spot. I think Ruri is an extremely fun character with how much she tried to help Onodera to how forceful and sometimes outright mean she can be. I really enjoyed her grandfather's arc and find it to be one of the best in the series in her being a high highlight of that arc. And I think she grew as a character very nicely and had one of the best endings of the cast. However, Rui is not the most in-depth character and can be kind of boring at times, so she can stay near the bottom of this tier list of the best girls in Isekoi. Next up, we have two characters that I love immensely, and it's between the Onodera sisters, Haru and Kosaki. Now I love both of these characters extremely so. I think that they are both very funny with great charm and great chemistry with the main cast. I really like how Haru had to suppress her feelings for Raku and help her older sister win him over, or how Kosaki always had this slow and passive approach to things with Raku, and it's very cute. And I love this relationship that these two sisters had, and I found it to be very sweet. However, there are some negatives. I don't like how either of these sisters were handled in the end of the series, and felt that it could have been done much, much better. I felt that Haru's arc was extremely short and underwhelming, and Onodera practically got nothing. But even still, I enjoy these characters immensely and just wish they were handled just a tiny bit better near the series conclusion. Now for the second best girl, this was rather easy and it goes to Sugumi! Sugumi is amazing. From her reluctant love for Raku to her fighting prowess to how silly she can be, I just love everything about her. And one of my favorite things about Sugumi is how she never knew about the fake relationship until near the end of the series. Now even still, she rotted Raku just a tiny bit for herself. It's extremely cute. However, just like the Onodera sisters, I feel that she was not handled very well near the end of the series, and it honestly left kind of a poor impression on me. But even with this tiny flaw, I still love Sugumi as a character and just wish she was handled just a tiny bit better. And first place in this tier list of girls from Nisekoi is Marika. Mari is the only girl in this series that I can say without a doubt has zero flaws. She's determined, she's cute, she's funny, she's energetic, she's heartwarming, she's everything. Sure, she isn't the best girl in fiction, I mean I think we all know who that goes to, but I love her nonetheless. I feel that Mari had the best arc in the series with the rescue Mari arc and I felt that she had the best conclusion as a character in the series. Sure, I wish she won. But that doesn't take away from the fact that Marika Tachibana is a brilliant character who truly outshines every other girl. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Mitsukoi is a fun series with some fun girls. And while only one of them is truly S tier, I think all the other girls are amazing. Anyway, see you on the next one. Peace.